Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. This is a Volkswagen Polo, but this is the INRC One Spec Polo. It belongs to Anna Pratap, who has been kind enough to lend me this car because this is bonkers, absolutely crazy type of performance. Okay, the key is finished in chrome right now, and you know what? You don't have to press anything on the inside to open the hood or the boot. All you have to do is firstly remove it like this. Yeah, there it's removed. Remove this one like this. Yeah, which means anyone can open the hood of the vehicle, and there you go. There opens the engine bay. There's no insulation there. That is the engine. It's the same one liter TSI engine. However, turbo is also stock. Actually, there are some changes. Firstly, the breathing is better, and then you've got this massive air intake as well. These are very much functional here, and this is the canister, or rather, these are the canisters for the suspension, which is adjustable in 16 clicks. Not really air suspension, but ride height can be altered here. Now this thing has been put here to secure the ECU of the vehicle so that heat doesn't really go there, and that is the engine mount. So the chassis has been strengthened, and uh, remaps have been done, and also power and all has really gone up like crazy here. I have to shut this. <laughs> so this is a bit of a hassle with one hand, but oh my god, I manage it so well. Now the ride height is the same. However, you can actually alter the ride height so you can adjust it. And there inside also you can change the brake bias. Right now it's 75, 25. Usually it's 60, 40. But the brake bias can be altered depending on the rally stage it is going. Sort of carbon fiber finish on the Volkswagen logo here. Red treatment here. Finished in green. Towing hook marked with an arrow because that's very important when you're rallying. You need all that. Light seems stock, but you get bumper clips here. Because at the speeds at which the car goes, the bumper should not fall after hitting something or the other. Sort of carbon fiber, but this is very much functional. So no fake stuff on this car. Everything is very much functional in this Volkswagen Polo, which is amazing. Now this is running on stock tire size, but for rally, he actually changes the tires depending on you know the requirement. Of course, tire size is the same: one ninety five fifty five fifteen. Red colored brake calipers, upgraded brakes. So basically, remap has been done. So the engine and performance has been upgraded. The brakes have been upgraded. The suspension has been upgraded. If Mac, check this out. Okay, yeah, flat underbody. So that has been added because nothing should get damaged from the side. It looks the same as a regular Polo, of course. However, you will notice it actually gets a shark fin antenna right there, sort of finished in carbon fiber, checkered flag because that is what every rally driver is looking forward to. And this is the AC of the car. No, I'm not kidding. Check this out. It actually pulls in air from here and dumps it inside. How does it happen? I will show you in a bit. Here again, you see flat underbody. So the chassis has been stiffened. Rear brakes have completely, yes, rusted. <laughs> Bumper clips here as well. Lot of stickering almost everywhere on this vehicle. And then this is fake, of course, the diffuser treatment. But real exhaust and these exhausts are super duper loud. Okay, that is not real though. <laughs> okay, it is actually. Thing is that it has pops, it has cracks, it has everything. And then Red Bull stickering gives you advice from Michael Massey. <laughs> the arrow is placed here just to tell you where you should be going and where you should be heading. Rear wiper washer. There's a rear spoiler as well. And you know what? If you want to open the boot, first things first, you have to actually remove it like this on the other side as well. And then there it goes. Okay, now here you can see you have to actually carry two spare tires. That is the toolkit. Now you can see this is actually the towing hook of the vehicle, the towing hook. Okay, not the towing slot, and lot of electrical bits which are exposed here. So you get all the toolkits here and there. You can see the roll cage. Uh, once you finish the rally, you can actually put your helmet there. So that's sort of a bag or a pouch or a placement for the same as well. And you can see the chassis has been strengthened in lot of places. So There is no space at the rear in a regular Polo. There is no space in this Polo either. <laughs> That's the reality. 
this is the motor for the rear wiper of course so everything is exposed they have tried to reduce the weight as much as possible however weight has actually gone up because of the strengthening which has to be done for the car in terms of being ready for a rally <laughs> it looks so purposeful i don't know why it has mud flaps but i think that is another requirement for inrc of course and it looks the same on the other side as well however i should open the rear doors and show you that the door pads have been removed there are no door pockets okay you can call this door pocket of course rusting in a volkswagen that's not something you see every day but anyways so this is actually the seat belt for the front which is going all the way from here you got sporty seats omp racing seats with six point harness as well and there are cup holders here so no one's going to sit at the rear of course there's no space as such but getting to the front is a bit of a hassle because how do you get in you have to actually climb in <laughs> not your regular polo this one again door pockets have been removed power window controls only for the front okay rear power windows rather the controls have been removed yeah the power windows don't open at the rear no they do open actually but controls have been removed from the front for weight saving that's kind of crazy and lot of stickers here and there now you can see the seats oh my god they are so huge and so sporty and of course proper racing seat belt and uh, i think they've removed everything carpet mat everything has been removed but you got this steel happening everywhere okay is that a dead pedal by any chance god only knows but air conditioning has been removed as well yes and everything all the stuff has been removed in this car check that out okay now there is a mount for your gopro of course and then you can see the vent now in order to get in and out it's a bit of a hassle which means that i have to actually put one leg like this slide and somehow manage with one of my foot leg out here we go so we are finally inside let me shut the door listen to this yeah it sounds a little different because obviously the door pads have been removed fire extinguisher very important glove box is gone tata bye bye some stickers here and there now some different mechanism here this is actually for the fog light when it's connected hazard light this is for the horn can you see that yeah this is actually for the horn this is the hydraulic handbrake and uh, this is to kill all the electronics of the car this is a charging socket here and uh, this is an on board uh, gives you data and all that stuff gear lever is a little different everything is exposed and then there's a handbrake here as well this is actually used by the navigator when you're climbing up somewhere now these buttons are of very important use because in a rally in case you crash you have to actually click this which is connected to the gps and then click this to tell people you are safe and not on the track so all this is also given but car is like crazy you get this omp steering wheel which is very sporty let me do one thing let me actually turn on the car so here is the key of the vehicle let's put it inside before that no auto dimming mirror you should not even be hunting for that right now exposed wiring here and there now this is actually the ac vent because the air which is pulled out from here actually turns out to come from here so that's kind of cool there is a good amount of headroom seats are really very comfortable they hug you nicely and tightly let me push the seat back now it's pushed all the way behind wearing a seat belt is a bit of a hassle as well so you have to actually put it like this from top okay and then ah it's inside my crotch okay don't see this guys this is not safe for work it's stuck somewhere now uh, one second i have to get up <laughs> this is the real struggle and then nothing much i just have to take it here and slot it into position mm, yeah i shall manage that imagine the kind of craziness yeah that is slotted now i have to slot it on the other side as well which is actually not difficult once you get used to it here we go where is this there it is and now we are belted up that's that so seat belts have been worn but you know now i'm ready to race of course now let's do one thing let's turn on the car oh ho ho okay i think it's in gear right now so let's come into neutral and oh ho ho it is loud the thing is the instrument cluster remains the same as before and here you see the data logger 
it's giving you a lot of information as well there is a tachometer and various information you can time the car why is it here because the navigator can see all this information because this obviously cannot be seen by him some buttons have been retained but everything has been lighted as much as possible the horn horn is okay fine it's not that great it doesn't have to be because you're not going to honk anyone when you're going in a rally oh it is interesting it's very interesting and there is also telling you the gear shift pattern you can see a lot of exposed bits here and there and honestly let me rev the motor oh look at that i have stopped revving and it's holding on to a rev and then the pops and cracks and all that also happens very sweetly it's giving the epc error right here because obviously it's a volkswagen car now so it has to do that always by the way the airbags are not functional anymore it's been removed here there also i think it's been removed but uh, the module has been removed so that if you're going in a rally you hit a bump and airbag should not blast away anyways what's most important is how is it to drive let me rev it oh 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 let's go we all set to go turning on the car oh my god it completely rose to life into first gear and off we go so i'm just going to roll off very smoothly but there is nothing known as smoothness here because it gets a racing exhaust and the exhaust is always very loud and then i can see warnings for the abs for the boot opening for the airbag for epc for almost everything even the engine check light is on but they are on because the systems have been disabled nothing to do more you will not be able to hear me in today's vlog and that's the reason why the warning lights are still flashing and making noise because you can't hear them the engine is just so freaking loud oh my god this is crazy there's no concept of sound insulation here it's very raw anyways into first gear revving the motor the turbo breathes better the turbo size is the same as before 1 liter 3 cylinder tsi engine actually produces 110 horsepower and 175 newton meters in stock but here of course there are lot of changes done remapped stage 2 stage 2 clutch as well the result is power output is gone all the way to 166 horsepower and 270 newton meters this is on the wheels as per a dyno test and the result is for all to see firstly the engine revs very fast it's very loud and then very punchy as well okay it has got a shorter final drive and <laughs> it's unbelievable i'm ringing the horn you can't hear it you can't hear anything you can't hear the warning sir sounds as well which is coming all through and since it's very stiff now you have to be very careful over bad bumps it has got pops it's got cracks it's got everything this is hot placement in the center which does not work which is not been connected but it has got pops cracks pop everything happens and you know it drives very freely it will drive all the way abs has been removed so braking performance doesn't really change as such but because of better brake pad braking is actually better it needs better brakes because of the kind of performance here we are actually lifting it in a higher gear I can feel air coming from there because the vent is a bit broken but you know the sound of the vents is not going to come on the inside because all you're going to get is of course the sound of the engine and there's a mosquito who's like uh, fighting for dear life wants to really exit you can please exit from here if you so wish there is so much grip on offer it's absolutely crazy Okay this is actually the hydraulic handbrake you pull it and you go sliding I've just come to a halt here is the mosquito exited right now or not 
where has he gone there's so many he can actually come in from here that's a bit of a bummer so now we are at our favorite corner and off we go oh rev super fast and look at this okay it's stiffer now of course so like this <laughs> oh my goodness second gear 80 first gear 40 red lines at around 6 and a half thousand rpm when you leave the throttle the cracks the pops the bangs everything is absolutely in freaking sane stage 2 clutch doesn't feel heavy as such gearbox feels very smooth to shift the steering feels very light and effortless at lower speeds but as you speed up now become quite heavy as well and honestly the sound is maddening to say the least <laughs> it looks like i'm sitting on the engine because that is the kind of sound which is coming it's just too freaking loud it's just too aggressive and then you have to avoid the bumps because it's very 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 stiff body roll is very well contained it's like super stiff handling is amazing and you can actually slide the car using this wherever you want which you will not do at the moment but look at this when at slow speeds it's kind of effortless when you push it hard now it becomes bonkers the front wheels are always fighting for traction and this mosquito is fighting for his life let's just get him out dude just leave every time i open the <laughs> windows this bugger will actually go back and sit in the rear seats although they're not even there into first gear setup it's a brand new car which was modified straight from the showroom it came and all the things were removed and thrown away like the door pads airbags and all that and the result is for all to see this car feels punchy lower down feels really mad in the mid range and absolutely maddening in the top end the rush is crazy the kind of pops and cracks and bangs and all it doesn't hold back at all <laughs> insane yeah this is just next level madness and the suspension on this car itself is 8 lakh rupees yeah 8 lakh rupees just for the suspension which is another level of madness and then you don't feel the speed you might be going fast you can't feel it lock up a bit because there's no ABS <laughs> insane and here let's see if we can drive it sanely there are no drive modes here none of that only suspension modes which you have to be manually tweaked you can manually you know change the brake bias also from the hood of course and when you do that okay I'm shifting around 2000 rpm the only thing is that because all types of insulation and pads and everything has been removed now you can feel a bit of the rattles inside all the German build quality of course but still you can feel some amount of rattling and all that stuff because it's just so stiff and everything is exposed so there's nothing which is damping on the inside which is a bit of a bummer but then this is a purpose-built rally car made to go really fast in rally stages although this is being used as a daily driver which is also amazing but you know what you have to be a little careful there's certain areas where this car can't go where they're a little bit more stricter in terms of 
emissions and obviously in terms of sound as well because this is stupendously loud you leave the throttle there are pops cracks bangs everything comes so hard and fast that uh, <laughs> you're wondering what is happening it's like on fire all the time and then you actually have to fight the steering wheel because of the speed of this guy it's very rigid body roll like there's no concept only the body doesn't move and then i think you know ground clearance seems fine but you have to be careful because that uh, underbody uh, flat underbody is actually having you know क्या बोलूँ मैं आई एम आउट ऑफ वर्ड इट कैन ऑफ फील विट टच एनी वे फ्यूल इकोनॉमी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यू कैस वॉन्ट टू नो समवेयर बिटवीन फोर टू एट किलोमीटर्स पर लीटर डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर ड्राइविंग स्टाइल ट्रस्ट मी दिस इज वेरी एक्सट्रीम यू नो हाउ एक्सट्रीम दिस इज योर आई टेल यू वी आर इन टू फर्स्ट गेयर राइट नाउ ओके ड्राइविंग द मोटर ऑल द वे person makes the tires lock otherwise the tires don't lock and off we go gun firing is happening from the exhaust when i leave it it's absolutely maddening okay oh. you know what's the problem here the problem is it rests so freaking that you have to be really on your toes to make a shift quickly otherwise you are just going to miss a shift and that is the craziness of this car the suspension isn't that bad it's stiff but it's very much manageable it just doesn't stop the pops and the cracks and all that they just do not stop in this car unbelievable so much fun i absolutely love it so guys this is my vlog of this Volkswagen Polo which is dialed up to 11 and honestly it is a whole lot of fun you will sweat it's like a workout machine but you will go fast you will really enjoy the road and you have to be on good road because this is running on stock setup of wheels imagine when it is being dialed up to 11 on the wheels as well how difficult would that be but trust me even with stock wheels because this work on the chassis and the suspension is so aggressive and extreme that the handling is become so much better even with high profile tires isn't that Make sure to give the thumbs up. That's the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. I have to slow down a bit, although I don't really need to because obviously there is good sidewall on the tires. Oh my God! I can see the fuel needle falling like this. Oh, that stiffness, that rattle, and all that. You know what? This car actually wheel spins like mad. You can't hear the sound because the engine is so loud. It's crazy loud. Can you believe it? That one liter TSI can be this maddening and this crazy as well. I never thought it could be, but it can be, which is very much evident. Uh, anyways, if you like this vlog, make sure to give the thumbs up. That's a like button, and also subscribe to the channel. You know what? I've done so many vlogs on Polos. I keep vlogging on Polos time and again, but this has been by far the most fun experience driving a Volkswagen Polo, which means that we should launch one last time. And here we are into first gear. Driving the motor.